Hello everybody, welcome back to Babylon Masters, and today I will be telling you everything about Super Hyperion. Please subscribe if you haven't, and leave a like on this video. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes because of this amazing new bay and this new Beyblade season. So this is the front of the box, or the packaging that it comes in. It looks very cool. You can see the front view of Hyperion. And uh, you can see that it looks, it kind of looks like Lord Spriggan. That's what it reminds, reminds me of, or like Achilles. So this is Hayuga. I think that's what his name is. Um, he owns Super Hyperion. He even has a brother whose name is Hikaryu. They're both brothers. Hikaryu owns Super, uh, King Helios. And... Um, Hayuga owns Super Hyperion. They're both brothers. Hyperion spins right. Helio spins left. You can tell how they're kind of related to each other. And I thought Hayuga kind of looks like Xander. What do you guys think? So here is the back of the box. You can see Super Hyperion HY, which stands for Hyperion, which is the Hyperion uh, Super King chip. And then the ring is actually called Super uh, together, that's not the layer. You need to add the chassis or the chassis to the um, to the uh, um, Super King chip and the Super or any ring um, together. Then you put the chassis on. Then that makes the layer. So um, the chassis or the chassis is called one A, which stands for one attack. So I'm sure we're gonna see more. Uh, more chassis uh, for attack, which are attacking, like maybe like 5A or like 2A, which just probably just sound, stands for which one it is and the design. So there are two different types of chassis or chassis. Um, there is a single chassis and a double chassis. A double chassis is the one that comes with Super Hyperion, where you can't add another disc on it. And a single t uh, chassis, you can add a disc with it. So like on, on Glide Ragnarok, you can put the chassis on the ring and the chip. But first you need to put the chip and the ring t together, then you put the chassis on. And you can add a disc to it. But for Super Hyperion... The double chassis, 1A, you actually can't put a, a disc on it. That's why it's called a double chassis, because it has the disc and the, uh, the chassis connected. A single chassis, you can put a disc on it. So that gives, it more, it gives you more customization. But right now, there is only one single chassis or chassis which comes on glide ragnarok so if you want to if you want more customization you should probably get glide ragnarok because it comes with a single chassis and, and if you just want more power and more attack maybe you should get um super hyperion or maybe you just want to get both and so then you can just grow your collection and just collect them all so now as we get into the, to the driver, it is called Exceed, and it has a small flat rubber tip on it, which just comes a little bit above the, the free spinning plate. And that I'm predicting that it will probably move around the stadium a lot, um, because, and, and it is an attack type. So this driver... Must have like a lot of attack if it's free spinning with rubber, and like um nightmare long longness it has destroy. It's a free spinning tip, but not with rubber. But it moves around a lot, so this one might move like like crazy around the stadium. So now this is the best part because we actually get to look at a close up of the pieces. So the chip core. It would is actually in a blue color, and it it probably matches a lot more with King Helios, um. But it does give it that look where Hyperion and Helios are alike, and the one on Helios is actually red, 
So they do, they are a lot alike. So here you can see the Hyperion sparking chip, not the chip core, the actual chip. It is uh, facing like to, if you put it sideways, then it's actually facing left and Helios faces right. And Helios spins left and Hyperion spins right, which is pretty weird, but that is cool. And it does have a green eye, which looks very cool with, um, with the ring actually and the chassis combined on the chassis. There's actually some points, which, and the points, uh, if you line them up with the, with the blades on the ring, it makes a forceful impact and upper attack. So that's gonna give you great attack power, and this is an attack bay. And there, on the smaller points, there's it looks like there's more um, metal on the chassis um, to give the smaller points also some more aggressive upper attack. But um, Zwei Longness uh, actually reminds me of this bay, but Zwei Longness it actually has some like a little bit more lower attack and Hyperion has upper attack. And also the chassis also has the teeth for the base now. So you don't really need to worry about it that uh about the looks of the chips and you want that chip. Except you do need to worry that about the left and right spinning thing, but it really doesn't matter. And X seed looks very weird. It kind of looks like eternal but like shorter, shorter and with it like a tube running through it and there's rubber yellow rubber just slightly above the plastic that moves around or that free spins so this is how the chip core and the chip look like together it looks cool i guess um but i think it will look a little bit cooler if you use the one that actually comes with um the Union Diablos, the WBBA Limited, I really think it's going to look better with that. Um, the one that came with Burn Phoenix, really, I don't think that it would match that good with this. But that one would match with the recolor of of Super Hyperion that comes in that giant set uh, with King Helios and a clear stadium. That clear stadium is pretty cool, but I'm going to save it that uh, some some information about that stadium in a different video. So here is the layer. It's not really called the layer though because the layer is with the chassis and the um the ring with the chip core and the chip uh together. And I just noticed if you have a chass a double chassis, it's only going to work with a double chassis. If you have a double chassis on your ring and a uh, chip core and chip um then doesn't that mean you're only going to have two pieces bursting? Because the disc is combined with the chassis and you just you just put the chassis on. You don't need to turn the chassis. Only the disc inside the chassis actually turns. And the chassis for this bay is actually a left and right spinning chassis. But the ring and the chip are actually only a right spin. And look at this. It shows a silhouette of Brave Valkyrie. Um, it looks very cool. It's coming out April 25th, 2020, so this month. So in just a couple more weeks, we're going to see this bay in action and how it moves around the stadium. If it's better than Slash Valkyrie, which I'm sure it is, um, it comes with very cool um, colors of pieces. And the color of the... the um, the chip core is very cool. Um, I'm not going to spoil it if you don't know how it looks like yet. But most of you guys probably do know. So just in a couple more weeks, we're going to see how this bay moves around the stadium and all in action. So maybe whenever I get this bay, I'm going to do some battles with it and test launches. And um, yeah, so... But for my next video, I'm, I'm going to be doing the Brave Valkyrie pieces revealed because I know the chassis, I know the layer, I know the um, driver. Um, 
So, yeah. So, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's get this video up to 1,000 likes. Because this new bay, um, with how it moves around the stadium, I've seen videos about it. It's, it's like, it going, it's, it goes crazy. So, thanks for watching.